Hey everybody, we have a cheap tool, if you could see it, and it is an air nibbler. You may have seen me mention this in a video recently, if that video made it video. Hmm, who knows. Air nibblers, if you don't know, are pneumatic tools that are used for cutting metal sheet and stuff, like you can see on the side of the box, kind of. Um, so this is available from Lidl, I paid 15 quid for it, it's got a three year guarantee on it, so I've taken a punt. Uh, 3,500 RPM maximum. Uh, this is the important thing. 1.2 millimeter metal sheet, 1.6 millimeter in aluminium. Now, what I want this for is cutting one mil aluminium. I just have this bit spare that I'm going to try snipping in a minute. Cutting width 4.5 mil. Nominal working pressure 6.3 bar. 200 liters a minute. Blah blah blah. Whatever. So, it's only 15 quid, I thought it was worth a, worth a go. My, there is a... There is a big book and it's got all sorts of legal stuff in many different languages, but doesn't appear to actually have any instructions, not that we should need any. Ah, whatever. Well, it's a hefty piece of kit, and is that the right adapter? So it's too long. It isn't. I don't have the right quick connector for it. Can I? Can I borrow the one off here for a minute? Please use. Oh God, blimey! I'm gonna get that bit clean. That one's got an O-ring at the top. This one doesn't have that. So is this gonna seal? I fear not. Well, let's see if it does or not. Nope. There's a very slight leak. I just have to get a different adapter, but for now, I'm just going to use some PTFE tape. But I'm going to make sure that it doesn't get in the last threads so it doesn't get into the machine because that could cause some problems. So I'm just making sure I avoid those last few threads. I reckon I'll do it. Moment to truth. E. Okay, so we have, oh, is this one of these safety switches that you, oh, you push it forward and then you can, Woo! So what's going on here is this pin's going in and out and it's got a shoulder on it so it just nibbles its way along. So in theory, this should be alright. Moment of truth. Uh, well it marks the surface up quite a lot either side. But I suppose there's not a lot you can do about that. It's quite a cool pattern, actually. <laughs> it's almost helical. Um, that's... Look at me, look at all the little moons it makes. Little moons. Okay, let's see how accurate we can be. Can we go around this? These are my stickers available on my store, by the way. I think I avoided it all. Let's try and get the... Well, we've messed the black one out. Let's try and get the white one out. I've turned the compressor off so it doesn't automatically refill. 
I think it might be starting to run out already. Maybe, I'm not sure. Okay, compressor is refilled again. Uh, let's try this on some 0.5mm galvanised steel sheet. I know this is quite a lot harder. And the difference between the little things in the aluminium, which won't cause any problems, the steel ones will stick into you like mad. Um, so, can we selectively take those out? There we go, we've got all the steel ones taken out of the way. In fact, let's just put that there so it collects all of them. I mean I've got nothing to say against it I mean I've not really used many of these before but for rough cutting out um, and some material like removal like you may have seen in recent videos when I'm making things I'll grind things out spaces well I can always just go just to get you know the bulk of it out and then go the rest of the way with a, with a die grinding bit or whatever I'm doing I'm, I'm pretty impressed by this for 15 quid. So it's, it's solidly made. Um, we do have oil coming out everywhere, but I'm guessing that is just from it being filled with oil for storage. Oh, I've just noticed there is. Let's use this bit of tape to show it. There is a lot of air coming out of the back here, but it kind of looks like it's supposed to. I'm guessing. Because uh, it still works fine. And as you can see, um, there I was doing this while it was refilling. It cuts without bending, really. And the only bend that's been put on that is by me just not being very careful. Um, so you, although it will damage the uh, focus. My God. There you go. So although it will damage the surface to about that far out. Quite badly, as I say. Um, it doesn't bend it. So yeah, I'm actually okay with that. As I say, it's a solid, this this whole thing is. Everything is metal on it, apart from that back cap, which is plastic. For 15 quid, and it does the job I need it to, I know I'm not asking a lot of it, because I'm only using one mil aluminium, um, but that's what I need it to. Well, there you go, if you're after a cheap nibbling tool for your uh, air compressor, little have them for 15 quid at the moment. Um, not bad. I think the thing's okay. I mean, I don't know what it's going to be like in the future. Give it some time, but... Yeah. Uh, they've also... Oh, God. They, they've also got um, some other air, compressing, uh, air compressor tools, like accessory kits and stuff at the moment, if you want to look something cheap. So don't imagine these to maybe last... 20 years, 10 years or something, but if it lasts you a few years and does the job for a while, 15 quid's alright. I do agree generally at all it's better to um, to spend more on something you'll use because it will last you forever, but I won't use this so much that I think I'm going to break it. Who knows, maybe I'll live to regret that decision, but yeah. There we go. Nibble, nibble. Not bad. Huge thanks to my patron supporters who went up the screen earlier on. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And all sorts of other stuff actually because I don't even think I can decide what sort of a YouTuber I am anymore. I'm, I'm just me and I make videos. How about that? <laughs> so thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye bye. Oh god. I have a mess to clean up. Ow! I told you! The steel ones will be the ones that will get you. Ow! <laughs> straight through my finger if you enjoyed this video and the other content on the channel please consider following the links in the description to show your support 